What's up guys, welcome back. I hope you're in the mood for barbecue chicken because that's what's on the menu today. But before we do that, please take a quick second to subscribe to the channel. Make sure to hit that bell and enable notifications as well. All right, one of the most common questions I get from you guys is about the knives that I use on this channel. I wanna spend a quick minute telling you guys about Dow Strong, which is the only knife company that I use. Here we have the cleaver and the eight inch chef knife, which you see me use on almost every video. This is the Shogun series, which happens to be my personal favorite. I've linked to everything in the description box below so you guys can check it out. Dow Strong offers a risk-free guarantee, so you get a 120-day full money-back guarantee, including shipping and a lifetime warranty. You really can't beat that, guys. Dow Strong also offers the Elite program. You can sign up at DowStrong.com for member-only product launches, exclusive access to deals, and professional cooking content. Membership is absolutely free. Over 450,000 chefs have switched to Dow Strong worldwide, and they have 10,000 verified five-star Amazon reviews. One of the things that really stands out about Dow Strong is just the overall quality. The blades are super sharp. The handle is exceptionally sturdy. This is my absolute favorite knife company, and for obvious reasons, with Dow Strong, there are no limits. All right, let's get this party started with a brine for our chicken. We're going in with 10 cups of water, a half cup of white sugar, a fourth cup of salt. We're also gonna add a couple tablespoons of chicken bouillon. This is gonna beef up the chicken flavor, or chicken up the chicken flavor, I guess I should say. There we go. Next, we're going in with three to five garlic cloves, depending on the size. Some rosemary thyme, one sliced lemon, some red pepper flakes for a little bit of heat. A half of a red onion, or white or yellow, doesn't really matter. And then a tablespoon or two of the all-purpose seasoning. Now, we're gonna bring this brine solution up to a boil. That way everything absorbs nicely into the liquid. You wanna whisk it together just to make sure everything's you know coming together, not sticking at the bottom. And then bring it up to a boil for a minute or two, and then we're gonna pour it over some ice. That way it starts to chill, because we need this brine to get down to room temperature before we add our chicken. A brine is super helpful when cooking poultry because poultry is naturally pretty lean. So this is gonna ensure that your chicken is nice and moist and tender when you cook it. It's also gonna add tons of flavor all the way down to the bone. So I have two big Ziploc bags here. We're gonna add our clean chicken quarters into the bag. And then we're gonna pour that room temperature brine solution right over top. And you can do this for, you know, four hours at least. I like to do it up to 24 hours though. That way it really has time for the flavor to penetrate the meat all the way down to the bone. You have the most delicious barbecue chicken you've ever had. So seal that bad boy up, make sure there's no air in there. Like you see me doing right here. And I like to place it into a bowl like this, that way nothing leaks out into your refrigerator and makes a mess. Looking good. Pop that in the fridge for four to 24 hours. I wouldn't go much over 24 hours though. Once you're done brining your chicken, we're gonna dry this off because we want the skin to be nice and crispy. And the skin doesn't get crispy if it's still moist. So we're gonna add it to a paper towel lined baking sheet and then take another set of paper towels and just press down firmly onto the chicken and really dry that skin as much as possible. There we go, looking good. Now I'm gonna show you guys how to do this on the grill and in the oven. So let's go ahead and get started with seasoning the chicken. Here we have four leg quarters, two are going on the grill and two are going in the oven. I like to season the underside first, leaving the skin side for last, that way everything is evenly coated. Going down with a little all-purpose seasoning, this is salt, pepper, garlic, and onion powder, but feel free to use whatever blend you like. If you're interested in purchasing my all-purpose seasoning, the link is in the description box below, and it's 15% off right now for July 4th weekend. Next, we're going down with some barbecue seasoning. Use whatever barbecue seasoning you like. I really like the Killer Hogs product. You can find that on Amazon, but whatever barbecue seasoning you like will work just fine. Now, for the oven version of the chicken, I like to go down with just a little bit of salt on the skin side. That way I make sure the color is nice and even. And a lot of times when you add all the additional season into the skin, it'll just, it'll just burn in your skillet. So just roll with me on this one. For the grill version, we're gonna season it uh, the way we typically would. So same deal, all purpose seasoning, a little bit of the barbecue rub. And just make sure you get even coverage like you see me doing right here. There we go, press down and make sure that the seasoning sticks to the chicken. So there's the barbecue chicken, there's the one that's going on the grill, and the one on the plate is the one we're putting in the skillet. So first things first, we're gonna heat our cast iron skillet over medium high heat. And then we're gonna lay the chicken down skin side first, that way the skin gets nice and crispy. 
a good golden brown color. You wanna press down to make sure it's making maximum surface area contact with that skillet. That's gonna ensure we get a nice, even, crispy skin on the outside of the chicken. And again, we just seasoned that side with salt. Remember guys that we brined this for 24 hours, so there's plenty of flavor in here. If you add all that pepper and stuff to the skin side, a lot of times that pepper is just gonna burn. You're not gonna get this beautiful golden brown skin. So trust me on this one. Everybody likes a good crispy skin, particularly on barbecue chicken. Nothing worse than biting into some chicken and the skin's all rubbery. So this technique is the way that I like to do it. Look at that, that looks absolutely beautiful. So a couple minutes in the skillet, and then we're gonna place it on a wire rack and pop that in a 400 degree oven. We're looking for 175 degrees internal temperature. So this is how our chicken's looking before it goes into the oven. The oven's already preheated. You can just hear how crispy that skin is. After we got the color that we're looking for, now we can apply a little bit of that barbecue rub to the outside. While that chicken's in the oven, we're gonna go ahead and get our grill fired up. We're looking for 400 degrees here as well. And we have one side set up for direct grilling, which is directly over the flame, the other side for indirect. We're gonna brush a little bit of olive oil or vegetable oil on our grill grates to ensure that the skin doesn't stick to the grill. And then we're gonna go skin side down for this as well, directly over the flame. Now remember guys, you have one side that's directly over the flame and the other side of the grill is not directly over the flame. That way, if it starts to cook too fast or get too dark, we can move it over to the indirect side. But this, my friends, is looking absolutely perfect. So as you can see, the concept's pretty much the same, whether it's the oven or the grill, you wanna lock in that beautiful golden brown crispy skin and then move it over and roast it the rest of the way. That's what we're gonna do here now that we've got the color that we're looking for. We're gonna move it to the indirect side and just basically roast it uh, until it reaches 175 degrees internal temperature. Now, while we wait on that, we're gonna go ahead and warm up our barbecue sauce. It's important to always warm your sauce before you add it to the meat, because if you add room temperature or cold sauce to hot chicken, it's gonna drastically reduce the temperature of the chicken and slow down your cooking process. So by warming up the sauce, you ensure that the chicken continues to cook as expected. And it doesn't slow down your cook time. So once our sauce is nice and warm, I like to add mine to a little foil pan like so because I like to dunk my chicken in the sauce to get a super even and just beautiful glaze on the chicken rather than brushing it on there. Optional, but just, you know, one of those things that kind of help with presentation. This is how our beautiful baked chicken is looking. We're gonna go ahead and dunk it right into that barbecue sauce, get a nice even glaze. You can use a little brush here to touch up any sides that are a little bare. Oh my goodness, this is gonna be good, guys. This is my favorite barbecue sauce too. It's from a company called Blues Hog. If you can find it, definitely give it a try. It's a little bit expensive for a barbecue sauce, but I promise it's worth it, guys. It's so good. They're not a sponsor at all, but one of my favorite sauces. Same deal for the grilled chicken. We're gonna do the same thing. Make sure it gets glazed nicely with that sauce. You wanna do this kind of the last 15 minutes of the cook time. That way the sauce has time to caramelize on the chicken. Looking absolutely beautiful. Say it with me, guys. Looking good. Definitely a few money shots going on right now. Grade A food porn. Nothing like a good barbecue chicken, whether it's in the oven or the grill. I got you covered both ways. This is how our oven chicken is looking. Just about done now. You guys let me know in the comments which version you want to eat the most, whether it's the one from the grill or the one from the oven. Cast your vote in the comments and let me know. As always, guys, the specific measurements and ingredients can be found in the description box below as well. This beautiful cleaver from Dow Strong, it's cutting right between that joint of the leg and the thigh. The chicken is super juicy and flavorful from that brine. And I am getting hungry. I can't wait to give this a taste test. Let me know what you think in the comments, guys. Hope you enjoy this recipe. This is definitely a staple during the summertime. Nothing like a good piece of barbecue chicken. I'm a leg man myself, so let's go in for this taste test and see what we got. Moment of truth. As you can see, the bite went right through the skin, let you know that it's nice and crispy and not rubbery. And this chicken is absolutely money. Let me know what you think in the comments. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell to enable notifications. And as always, thank you for your support.